In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to drive a two-pin frozen lamp with an electronic bellows. Normally, a two-pin frozen lamp lit with the help of magnetic bellows. But in this case, we will show you how to use it with an electronic bellows. You might have seen this uh, two-pin frozen lamp. Right. Uh, as you can see, it says compact frozen lamp, but uh, this is not a typical uh, compact uh, frozen lamp or CFO. This one actually is not that compact. So let's see what are the requirements for this uh, frozen lamp to work. This is the wiring requirement for this frozen lamp, as you can see. We have the ballast and we have the holder and this frozen lamp connect to this holder like that. Uh, this is not compact so you can see this is the mains wires. The paste wire connect to one of the terminals of this magnetic ballast and the output from this magnetic ballast is connected to one of the pins of this frozen lamp and the other pin is connected to the neutral. See for bulbs have an uh, electronic ballast instead of a uh, magnetic ballast. So this one is not a typical uh, CFO. Uh, you cannot tell this one is as a CFO. Frozen lamp should have four pins in order to connect the uh, ballast and the starter and also you might wonder where's the starter uh, in this circuit this uh, frozen lamp how a starter inside this uh, lamp itself so this bulb have a starter inside this uh, housing this one actually a frozen lamp with built-in starter so you only have to connect the magnetic ballast from outside to drive this frozen lamp. So that is the wiring. That's how this frozen lamp works. This ballast is uh, not working. I try to find a ballast that uh, have the same electrical characteristics. Uh, I wasn't able to find a replacement part. Right. If you can't find a magnetic ballast, you have to use an uh, electronic ballast. Alright, uh, let's see what is inside this uh, electronic ballast. Alright, this is what is inside the uh, electronic ballast compared to this one. This is a magnetic ballast with coils. You can see there's no electronic circuit. So, in order to uh, connect this electronic ballast uh, let's see what we can see a way to connect the frozen lamp to this electronic ballast as you can see we have four PCB pads to connect the frozen lamp to this electronic ballast so in order to access these four pins we have to remove this housing so, in, so to do that Right. As I told you earlier, we have two wires that are coming from the uh, frozen tube is, uh, that is connected to these pins. In order to remove the bottom part of this housing, you need to detach uh, these pins from that wires. So as you can see, these pins are crimped using a tool. In order to free that uh, wires from these pins, uh, you have two options. You can either cut this uh, pin uh, after the crimped uh, portion, or you can drill it through using a small drill bit. So if you drill it through using a drill bit that is uh, 0.8 or 0.6, you can free that uh, free those wires from these pins then you can pull out the bottom portion and access the wires 
that is inside this housing. So that is what we're going to do in this tutorial. Uh, let's see how to do that. Okay, uh, let's drill this uh, pin using this uh, drill bit. I'm going to drill the other pin as well. Alright, as you can see the drill bit will go all the way through once the print area is uh, cleared. Now you can pull out this uh, bottom portion without damaging the uh, wires that are coming from this frozen tube. Once all the way through, you can uh, pull the bottom part out. Uh, just wiggle it and pull it out all right as you can see this is the bottom part with the two pins you can see the pin holes as well now as if you're looking uh, look what is inside this uh, frozen lamp you can see the starter now you can see the pins as well we have four pins this one and this one and these two pins now you we got the four pins we need to drive this frozen lamp with a uh, electronic ballast okay let's do that i'm going to cut this uh, starter attachment from this uh, frozen lamp and I'm going to uh, connect each uh, wire to the electronic ballast. As you can see I have uh, cut the starter from this frozen lamp and I also cut the wires uh, from the tube to the required length. Uh, I'm going to solve this wires to these PCB soldering points. I think we have to clean these pins as well. So let's do a quick clean up using a sandpaper. All right, I'm going to clean it before soldering. Contact or proper soldering. Uh, I don't want any oxidization on this uh, bias Okay, now we have soldered the frozen lamp to the electronic ballast PCB. Uh, let's hold the input wires and see what will happen 
let me power this uh, electronic ballast all right uh, let's solder this wires to the input of this uh, electronic ballast Now the input wires are soldered. Let's see what will happen when we connect these two wires to the, the power. Alright, that is the final result. As you can see, the frozen lamp works with the electronic ballast. So this is a warm white uh, frozen lamp. That's how you drive a two pin frozen lamp with an electronic ballast. If you don't have an electronic ballast, use the electronic ballast that is inside the regular CFL bulb. Make sure to select a CFL bulb that has the same power ratings as the 2-pin frozen lamp itself. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in another tutorial. I'm Sam for learning step by step.com.